Mother Hay, we're warming up. I think a lot of people are excited about that. Yes. Uh, we will be above freezing tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Temperatures will be warm for a day. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we go back down because we have another system on the way. In fact, two that will deliver some snowfall. Could make it the snowiest March on record here in Calgary. Uh, right now, base temperatures, it's minus two at the airport in downtown, minus one at, uh, or plus one at COP, and uh, the all new Big Four now open at Tazaw Park. Tazaw Park's at minus one. Let's factor in that wind chill, and you can see, yes, it certainly feels cooler out there. My to the weather, you, you said it's going to be warm tomorrow, but there's a disclaimer because more cold stuff comes <laughs> after that. I feel like I always need a disclaimer. <laughs> Don't I? <laughs> it, doing weather in Calgary, you yes, always do. I do. Yes. Uh, so yes, spring-like weather for mm -hmm. tomorrow, and then we, and really right where we should be temperature-wise, with some sunshine, and then you know we have another system, a couple systems roll in. Here's your capital chef sky cam. Uh, we had some sunshine out there today. We had some mist out there today. Couple random isolated snowflakes out there today and uh, yeah we have another system on the way which we'll talk about in just a second with the wind chill wind chill values are in the blue here it feels more like minus eight in calgary but check out banff banff is doesn't have to deal with wind chill because it's above the freezing mark four degrees in banff right now nine for cranbrook eight for golden is taking some time but that will slowly make its way in and we will get warmer temperatures so today we were a little warmer than yesterday and tomorrow we should be warmer than today uh, a little gusty as well so predominantly out of the east southeast for the most part for calgary this was the peak gust today in calgary um, and we are looking at uh, gusty conditions possible just like this as we go through these next couple hours before things wind down for the evening. You can also see that instability once again in the foothills, these pockets of snowflakes. So certainly off to the west of Calgary and through the foothills, we may even see a couple snowflakes through the evening hours uh, here in Calgary. And that may even lead to a couple raindrops tomorrow late day, closer to the supper hours. But very isolated, some communities won't see that at all. When we look in the longer range forecast as we head into long weekend, uh, we have a system that we tracking to the north and then here's the big one that's just making its way to the coast. And these two will basically collide. So I wanted to show you the big picture and you can see this one tracking here and you can see this one approaching here. So we're looking at sunshine tomorrow as we're basically sandwiched in between for tomorrow and then they will basically collide so we are looking at upsloping from this and snowfall from this and it will drag in cooler temperatures for a short term as well uh, when I zoom in I can show you the sunshine for tomorrow and then by the time we get into Thursday and Friday we are looking at snowfall how much snowfall not as much as the last bout but still some we could see five to ten centimeters if we count Thursday and Friday and when we look at March at this point this is the second snowiest March on record in Calgary uh, the record is 70.3 centimeters from 1998 so far we've seen 62 centimeters so if we get the higher end this will break a record will be the snowiest march but at this point we're not there yet all right capital chef five day forecast six for tomorrow that comes with mainly sunny skies maybe a couple of raindrops isolated for some communities later in the day tomorrow and then we get that next system thursday friday bringing in some snowfall dropping our temperatures once again by friday a high of minus four and then we remain in those minus single digits in through saturday and then we pick up so by sunday we should get back above that freezing mark Let's connect with Danielle. How's the rest of the evening shaping up? Uh, pretty good. You know, things are quieting down. We did have that instability in the foothills, but that is really dying out for the night. So a couple snowflakes off to the west, certainly possible. But in Calgary, that chance just gets smaller and smaller as we go through these next couple hours. And then we're looking at quiet conditions through tomorrow. Still cool on the cooler side. Minus two right now in Calgary with the wind chill feeling more like minus eight. Brooks feeling well into the minus double digits at this point. Uh, but you can see that warmer air off to the west. Banff is sitting at four degrees right now, so not even dealing with wind chill. Golden at nine, Cranbrook at seven, and that warmer air will slowly make its way in for tomorrow. So still cool to start with a wind chill of minus six in the early morning hours, but lots of sunshine tomorrow. The wind's out of the right direction. We're looking at getting up to a high of six degrees in the afternoon with a very small chance of some late day instability, which could lead to a little sprinkle. Small chance of that. I'll be back with uh, the snowfall, though, that's in the forecast is coming up, Tara. Danielle back in now as we look ahead to our five-day forecast, Danielle. Yes, and we have a couple things going on uh, with some warm weather, some colder weather, some snow.
uh, some sunshine. So we'll get into all of this. Minus eight is what it feels like right now in Calgary with the wind chill. The base temperature is minus two. Brooks feels into the minus double digits right now, but many other communities are getting warmer as we go. Lethbridge feels more like minus five. Pincher Creek get that freezing mark. Banff not having to deal with wind chill at plus four. You can see this warmer air. This will start to spread further to the west. So we've been, we're warmer today compared to yesterday and tomorrow even warmer. And then we'll take a dip for the short term anyway, heading into long weekend. All right, you can see the instability that we had out there that created these pockets of snowfall. Uh, that is since really calming down for the evening hours. Um, and then when we look at the bigger picture and what's happening, especially as we head towards long weekend, we're going to have a low tracking to the north. And you can see this big low that's barreling towards the west coast right now. That will be a weather maker. And in fact, they're actually going to collide. So I'm going to show you the why shot of this. Uh, here's one low that's going to be tracking to the north and you can see that develop and then you can see this other one, the bigger one, moving in. Uh, basically the core of it will track along that U.S. border and push waves of snow in um, and they're going to basically collide. So in between that we're looking at sunshine for tomorrow but then by Thursday we get into the, a good potential of some snowfall. So just to zoom in and show you, through tomorrow we're looking at sunny skies for much of the southern part of our province and then by the time we get to Thursday, again Again, we have these systems collide, plus it'll force air up the mountains and create that upsloping, which could enhance the snowfall totals we see as well with this. This carries into Friday as well. So uh, we can expect anywhere from 5 to 10 centimeters if we look at uh, Thursday through Friday. And so far, we are the second snowiest March on record. The snowiest is 70.3 centimeters. Uh, we're at 62 centimeters right now. So if we get the top end of this... Yes, we could break a record for snowiest March. Looking at that longer range forecast, a high of six for tomorrow. That comes to sunshine, very small chance of late day instability around the supper hours with a couple raindrops. And then we get into those systems colliding for Thursday and Friday, giving us cooler temperatures and snowfall. By the time we get into Easter Sunday, our daytime high should be back above the freezing mark. And that marks the first day of about a seven day stretch of warmer temperatures well above that freezing mark. Tara. Thank you, Danielle.